We're also going to want to start building houses. Like proper, legitimate houses. How do we get more outpost places, though? Flying hunters have been researched. That's good. We're going to build one of those immediately. Food. Hunter's hangar. Oh, the hunter's hangar is an upgrade. I like that it's an upgrade, but I actually don't want to upgrade one of our existing hunter's cottages. I'd much rather build this fresh. We just got to find a good spot for it. Which is where dot dot dot? Here would not be a terrible spot. It's not an ideal spot, but it's not. To, yeah, just build it there, and then we'll run. We'll run streets down around the corner here. That should solve our food problem. Research, though, we need something that gives us another outpost. Exploration industry, faster outpost teams. No. Additional scouts. What gives us more outposts? That's what we need is more outposts. Because I think we're going to need to send an outpost team. We have so much coal over here. Actually, we don't. This coal pile is actually only 35. But how big is this coal pile? 511. We may need more thumpers. Alternatively, we could just build a coal. We could research and build a coal mine. How much coal does... You know what? Let's... Hmm. Let's hold off. I, th I feel like maybe we should just build a coal mine. I'd like to get that outpost to that... Discontent has risen. Why? Coal storage is the problem? No, I mean, we're burning more... Never mind. I always think we need more coal than we do because this thing is off. Like, it doesn't give an accurate idea of coal production. And you store raw food. We'll actually, we're going to have to keep an eye on this number because the predictive thing is not super accurate when it comes to the coal thing. In mining and storage. I think the mining actually we're okay on. We're not even gathering this coal here because we don't have any place to put it. How much coal do we burn in a day? I guess that's the thing. How much coal are we burning a day? 1,800 a day. Maybe we need another coal storage bin. It doesn't seem like we're running out ever, though. Well, we need more steel. Steel. Give me steel. Scouts have reached Tesla City. Beautiful. What did you find there? The city is modern and meticulously built. A tall tower emits a constant barrier of lightning, deflecting the incoming snow, but nobody comes out to greet us. Thunder unleashed. Able minds and bodies will prevail over the cold, reads the slogan over the entrance to Tesla City. A central tall tower shines with the blue glow of electric discharges, which form a protective dome over the town. Something went wrong here. There are charred bodies lying in the streets and the stench of burned flesh taints the air. <laughs> you guys smell that? You know what it is? Smell that? It smells like breakfast. During a storm production stops, you need several days of storage coal. We haven't had that happen yet, so. Several charred bodies lying in the streets and a stench of burnt flesh taints the air. It smells like breakfast. We saw a lightning streak from the tower hitting a building and leaving gash in its roof. Sites discovered fishing village. Risk entering the city. Stay away from the city. Um, risk entering the city. We entered the city. We've seen a thing or two in our lives, but nothing has ever frightened us as much as this blasted building. Until we figure out how to switch it off, that is. Now we'll be able to establish an outpost here. I mean, okay. 
what is what does Tesla City do though if we build an outpost there? It gives us steam cores. Is that correct? It gives us steam cores though. What resources do you guys have? You have a steam core on you. Go to the fishing village, but then you're coming back. Because it's going to take you guys like a month to return to town. We got to figure out how to get a second outpost, though. This building can't support another expedition. How do we get this? How do we get another expedition here? Is our flying hunter's hut built yet? That's a workshop. Uh, yes, we're not researching that. What should we research then? Automaton integration would... You know what? Steel is sort of our limiting factor at the moment. Let's make our automatons more efficient. Whatever they're called, the elevator... Build, but we could only build one of those, though. There was only one place to stick one of these outposts. I mean, I would love to build another one, but... The beacon, we had to research a thing to make it give us more. But we only had one location where we could stick this outpost. There was no place to put an additional one. Keep an eye on it. There was a second spot. It was just very difficult to see. Scouts 2 have returned safely to the city. Oh, right. They brought all those stupid urchin bastard children and a bunch of wood. I have so many idle children now. We should have killed those kids. Like, we should have just left them to die. There is nothing for these guys to do. We've explored everywhere. Yeah, there's there's nowhere left to discover. Is there ever a reason to go back to a place you've already been? I guess we could test that theory. Go back to the Lost Expedition and see what's there. Maybe they can find something the second time? Chad is convinced we can build an additional outpost station. Well, let's put that theory to the test. That's exploration. Outpost depot. We need. It takes 45 steel, so we, we're gonna have to wait a minute. Also, fuck. We gotta. We're not gonna. We're gonna have to build houses for all these stupid homeless children. I shouldn't have let you talk me into it, Chad. We should have left them to die. This is your fault. We should have left them to die, though. Houses take 25 steel. You know what? A bunkhouse only takes 10. I'm sorry, kids. You don't get to live in a place that's that nice. We're going to try, try and slowly upgrade the houses, but we're not starting with building elaborate mansions for these stupid children. We should have let them die. I knew they were going to be a damn drain on our resources and a bunch of worthless mouths to feed. Save the kids, Pete. The children are our future, Pete. Blah, blah. No, they're, they're not. We should have just let them die. I'd like to start upgrading the houses, but it doesn't feel like we're going to have opportunity to do that. Oh, we can send out a guard patrol, right? Yep. We have no discontent. Hope is almost maximized. Scouts have reached the fishing village. And what did they find there? A place for the weak. Fishing village used to supply Tesla City with food. Searching it, we found a letter. Moik, don't return to the city. Tesla's a madman. He cast out all the amputees, all the sick. Jerry's parents and old Beth are among them. It will be blood, that's for sure, ain't soon. 
Is it just me or am I getting steadily more and more Michael Caine after he's been struck in the head by a shovel? I feel like I'm getting more and more Michael Caine as the stream progresses. The village was left in order. We could send the team here to start fishing. Site discovered. Research station. Ice corridor. Leave the village intact. Dismantle the huts for food. Uh, no, never. Why would you ever dismantle a place where you could build an outpost? That's just dumb. Leave the village intact. Guncore, thanks very much for the follow and welcome to the Ninth Circle. It's Michael Kane. Guncore is for you. Thank you very much for a follow. I appreciate it. Let's get some stabbies in chat for him then, Mike. Michael Kane is pretty awesome. You got to admit. So that's an odd accent considering that note was written by the Americans. What, one of the um, Michael Kane can't immigrate to the United States? You don't think if Michael Kane applied for citizenship that we wouldn't grant it? Because we absolutely would. How are fish still alive? Well, I mean, they, they breathe water so they can just live under the ice. It's pretty common. I mean, fish do that a lot. We should probably have these guys come home, though, because they have three steam cores. Maybe you guys can come on back now. Yeah. It's gonna, it only takes them 20 hours to get back? Jesus, they're fast as shit. It took them a month to get out there, but they get home in 20 hours? Talk about speedy. We got 20 more steel. Did we build our flying hunter's hut yet? Hold on a minute. Is there any place that doesn't have people working in it? Because if there was, we would have spotted that. So the answer is no. We're okay then. Build... <sighs> like two more bunk houses, I guess. I'd like to build them next to this... No, 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 cancel, cancel. That's not where I want it. I want to build them close enough to this steam core that they still get the bonus. Get a nice road there. They should be well heated. Scouts, yeah, I mean, we know they, oh, these guys, what are you guys doing? So you can't go to the same place twice, or rather you can, but it does absolutely fuck all good. All right, then go uh, investigate the ice corridor, I guess. Take you two days and an hour to get there. And that should be, we have 35 stupid homeless children coming in. That's a lot of worthless mouths to feed, though. People abandon the Londoners. Suck it. Also, go to the morning meeting. First Londoners convinced to stay. Sir, several, sir, several of the people who wanted to flee to London have decided to trust you and stay. They say that your recent decisions convinced them there's hope for us. When was there not hope, though? I've been doing a fantastic job. All you guys did was force me to build a fucking police state. The police state is entirely your fault, by the way. Don't, I'm, I'm pinning that one squarely on you. Day after day, we find power and unity. Victory will be ours. We might it this far. I think we could survive anything. The temperature is actually going to go down for a couple days. But then it'll snap back to a balmy minus 40. So that's, you know, sweet. Only minus 40, chat. Our coal situation is actually okay. Yeah, it's going to be fine. If anything, what we might do is upgrade to steam coal turbines or steam coal pounders or whatever the hell they're called. Thumpers, thumpers, that's it. Coal thumpers. We may upgrade to steam coal thumpers. Also, do heaters work? Okay, heaters don't work in workplaces unless they're actually needed. That's that's good, because I was about to be real surly 
that they're running heaters to heat factories where nobody's working. All right, all the stupid homeless children have been provided for, and now I have 52 worthless bastard children that I am feeding. This town is going to be an entire... It's going to be wholly populated by fucking orphans, though. I'm tempted to build another automaton, but I don't know at this point what I'd do with them. We don't really need them to do anything. We got automatons working in the steel mills, so they're running 24-7, which is great. And they're about to be better at their job as well. We do still need to build a flying hunter hut, I think. Or did we build a flying hunter's hut or not, chat? I can't remember whether we built one or not. It does look like our food is going down slightly. Wait, we built... Never mind. We built a hunter's hangar. We just didn't staff it. Well, there you go. Get out there and get to work. Now, the food situation is also sorted then. So, what we... I'm going to build another storage facility for us to stick coal in. I don't care it's not adjacent to a street. Just build a street. There, are you happy now? It's adjacent to a street. Go build it. Cookhouses are seen as safe jobs for kids. Uh, we can employ children at anything, though, Big J. We have no restrictions on our children to work everywhere because I'm a callous bastard and I don't care whether or not they get their little limbs chopped off. For instance, our one amputee down here is Robert Morris, a child who got his hand crushed. Patrol, an angry rant. Sir, our guards reported that... Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Michael Kane, right. Sir, our guards reported a man is giving an impassioned speech to a small crowd, accusing you of scheming to enslave us all. Our captain is trying to keep you content, ignorant, and under control. Remember the new poor law? The workhouses? That's how we live now. We're supposed to work and be quiet. Boy, it's not too late. Discontent will rise. Uh, I'm actually okay with letting discontent rise. Because we'll just send out a guard patrol to crush that discontent almost immediately. Automaton integration research is complete. That's fantastic. Give us... What do we need? I don't feel like we need any resource stuff. Exploration and industry is intriguing, but again, I kind of feel like we're okay. Having heaters burn one less coal per hour is not terrible, but that takes a lot of metal. We can upgrade the range of our steam hubs, which is interesting, but again, doesn't really feel necessary. We could insulate, cook... You know, we could do an infirmary. We don't really have that many sick, though. Upgrading a steel works. Now, that's actually not a bad idea, chat. You're right. We should do that. Let's do the steam steel works. Steel is our limiting factor. We need we need more steel. Getting bottlenecked from steel a lot. Yep. That's a good call, chat. Automation integration is research. The integration automation will also help us, though, because that's going to make our overall steel production go up. Not a huge amount, just 10%, but still. Besides, your wood is actually in good shape now. Well, we built the wall drill, but also we have the outpost bringing in 150 wood. So we're getting a ton. 16 per hour during the workday, and then 150 per day from our outpost. What we should build... Hold, hold on. Let's see about that other outpost station. It's, uh... Nope. Where is that? Outpost depot. It takes 45 steel. So we're going to wait for three more steel. Then I want to see if we can actually build another outpost station. We are going to need a little more coal input, though. Oh, we built another... Right. Uh, you're to store coal, though.
We could pass the foreman law and have our coal thumpers get upgraded that way. Alternatively, we could just build a... Uh... No, I want... Where's the outpost station? Outpost depot. So there is nowhere else we can build an outpost depot. Like, oh wait, we can build one over here. It's just very hard to see because the bloom is so fucking high. So we can have two? It looks like we can only build two, though. I'm just going to skim this around the edge and see if this will stick anywhere else. Because I would not have spotted that. I only spotted it when I moused over it and it actually stuck to the wall. So we can build two outposts maximum. All right, we're definitely going to do that and build a road. Does it really matter where the road goes? That'll do. So we're going to have to choose carefully on the whole outpost thing. And it feels like maybe we should dismantle one of the other outposts and move it. Because I really want one farming steam cores. That seems super useful. Many of the really good buildings require steam cores, and we don't have that many. For now, I think we'll let it be okay, but we may have this outpost get dismantled and rebuilt somewhere else. But we're definitely going to go build one on the coal extractor. That seems enormously useful. Also, what is the new... There are flying hunters! Did you see that? They took off in a fucking hot air balloon. That was cool as shit. They're, look at them. They got a dirigible. Hells to the... Yeah, flying hunters are the shit, though. Those guys are badass. Supreme badasses. They hunt in hot air balloons. No prey will escape their balloon onslaught. It's going to be genius. It's going to be like London during the Blitz, except they're you know going to be dropping bombs on polar bears instead of helpless civilians. These guys are coming in in a half an hour with wood. We don't really need that wood, though. I suppose we could always burn it down to charcoal if we get, like, the wood storage full and we don't want to mess with it anymore. We do want to ultimately begin building actual houses, though. They just take so much steel. I'm tempted to run a extra... You know what? I'm beyond tempted. Hold on a second. Where's our guard tower? You know what? It's fine. We can have them patrol shortly. You guys are working a double. The only thing I have... Holy shit, that gave us a lot of discontent, though. The only thing I've ever worked an emergency shift on... We only have 23 hours of coal left. We may need to conserve some then, huh? Scouts number one have returned safely to the city. They brought us 124 metal, 113 wood, and three steam cores. We need to immediately send them back out. I think we send them to the research station. It's nighttime and we have 23 hours of coal left. We're going to have to build an outpost service. All right, is this thing done? Hurry up and build this. We need this built very quickly. We've got a coal problem. We will get the steam-powered coal thumpers very quickly, which is good. Build coal mining, Pete? Uh, I think maybe if we just upgrade to steam coal power thumpers and maybe build another thumper, we'll be okay. 
We also just have some coal piles. Well, hell, just like get people work. We got nobody working these. We got idle children. Get out there. <laughs>